My name is Anna. I'm a first year doctoral student in clinical psychology. I've been working in psychology for five years. Just over this past year, while working as a therapist in a clinic, I got the opportunity to work directly with several couples, and that's when I began to become interested in their communication styles and relationship and how that affects not just the relationship between them, but also the entire family and people around them. In my experience in working with couples, I find there are lots of things that you can do to improve the relationship, but there are five major things that I think if a couple focuses on in or outside of therapy can really help to improve the relationship. If you come home after your day, you do a quick little mind scan what's happened in my day, what might I be upset about, and either decide to leave it at the door or come in and talk with your significant other about it. And that way you're recognizing it right away. I'm upset about this thing, and by bringing it into the open, you're less likely to redirect your anger at something else. Oftentimes I find couples will have something that upsets them, hear something that upsets them, and they dive in right away. They're ready to fight. Gloves are on. Um, if you give yourself that moment to recognize, again, going back to self-awareness, recognize something's going on inside of me. I don't want this to turn into a fight, so I'm going to take a couple minutes to figure out exactly what's going on. It's really responsible as an adult. I think in any situation in, in your life, it gives you that little extra time to really get your head around what you're feeling and what you're thinking so that you can express it most effectively to your significant other. What you start out by doing is picking an object. So say you pick a flashlight or a ball or a piece of laundry or something like that. And whoever holds the object is the only person that can talk. They are the speaker. You don't make any assumptions. You don't jump to any conclusions. You don't try to get your point to be the right one. You just want to get your point heard so that they understand how you're really feeling. And from there, once you get a clear understanding and you both feel comfortable, that each other understands each other's point of view, then you can move into trying to create a problem solution. We come home, we're arguing, and everything feels so stressful, but at the end of the day, we really love our significant other. We love who we're with, and you need to remind each other about that, even in an argument. So find a little way to, to touch your significant other, maybe make a little joke in the middle, remind them that in a couple hours you'll be doing something that's less tense, more fun. That just sort of breaks the ice and helps each other remember we are in this for a reason and we do love each other and even though we're going through a rough time, we will make it through. You don't want to offend them with uh -huh. the joke. You just want to make it nice and light and, and friendly, but just enough to break the tension. Everybody argues and everyone gets upset with each other, but when the argument's over, you come to a decision, you have to forgive each other and put it behind you. I think if you don't do that, oftentimes we hold resentment and then it comes up in the next argument, it comes up in the next argument, and before you know it, there are so many layers of resentment and anger that you can't get through it to really remember why you care about the person you're with.